Today, we're taking a look at another fantastic time capsule, the sort of thing that Assetto Corsa was and continues to be a bit of a breeding ground. Bremgarten was fast, undulating, and at its most calm, completely terrifying. In other words, this must be one of Fat Alfie's creations. Hello fellow sim racers, it's new historic circuit time, which now I think about it does sound like a contradiction, but sim racing is rather good at producing contradictions. Modern technology being used to recreate long lost race circuits, what's not to like? Famously, motor racing was banned in Switzerland in 1955, following the tragedy at Le Mans that June. And so it was that 1954 would be the last time that Grand Prix cars would compete in anger in Switzerland. The venue for the erstwhile Swiss Grand Prix had been Bremgarten since the mid-1930s and remained so until the final event in 1954. The same year, in fact, that Maserati introduced the work of art that is the 250F. As it happens, this is one of my favourite historic cars in the set of Corsa, so I was rather pleased to learn that Fat Alfie was working on an appropriate playground for this beautiful machine. As an aside, I'm using the slightly later V12 version here because, well, I can. So then to Bremgarten. The circuit was located to the north of Bern, though slight expansion of the city has made that distinction somewhat pointless. At just over 7 kilometers long, it's actually a fairly sensible length by the standards of the day and thus makes for a decent playground in a racing sim. The parkland location provides a stunning backdrop for this road course which, as you can see from the images, features plenty of that all-important elevation change. And as a side order to the hilly bits, we're also treated to narrow tarmac, at least where there is any tarmac, and a seemingly limitless number of trees lining the route. Such was the style at the time. There really are only two notable stopping points on the circuit, with the rest being made of fast and very fast corners. All in all, it's exactly the sort of place for which risk assessments were invented. Of course, none of that is important in a racing sim, and thus we can throw around a priceless classic sports car without any such concerns. Reality really does have its downsides. We can now ignore all of that thanks to Fat Alfie, a man who has dedicated more time to recreating lost racing circuits in virtual form than perhaps any other. Fans of GPL have long known about and enjoyed Bremgarten, and there is a ripped version floating around if you're into that sort of thing. But this version is a different beast. Constructed with the author's usual attention to detail and flair for conjuring in a sense of atmosphere, this is the sort of mod that well, it just stands out. As is usually the case with historic circuits, very little of the real world location remains, so topographic data, period photographs and video have been used to pull this all together. Now, it's not really my place to say whether this is accurate or not, because frankly, I have no idea. But I can say, after watching back through some of the available newsreel of the early 1950s Grand Prix, it passes the does it feel right test, and the vibe is definitely there as well, though of course in full colour. I feel I should mention the road surface in particular, which changes materials throughout the lap, and it is about as bumpy as you would expect for a temporary 1950s road circuit. From an engagement perspective, this is exactly what you want. It's all well and good having all of that atmosphere blurring past at the periphery of your vision, but it all falls a bit flat if the road surface isn't communicating the same vibe as well. The grip level seems to change throughout the circuit, with the cobbles along the main, um, not straight section being notably tricky. In period cars, this circuit is a real test. But jump into something just a little bit more sophisticated from say the 1960s and it becomes just on the right side of civilized for my tastes. And I must admit, driving the Porsche 718 Spyder around here felt like a match made in heaven. 
but if you're a stickler for historical accuracy, it's those 1950s Grand Prix cars that really fit the bill. Sadly, they are a bit thin on the ground in Assetto Corsa, at least in any sort of legitimate capacity, so for now, I'll make do with the Maserati. Before I bring things to a close, I should probably mention some of the more important, but arguably less interesting stuff. In my testing over the weekend, the AI has been extremely well behaved, which is, well, it's far from a certainty with this sort of circuit, and in particular with open wheel cars in general. The circuit features a healthy 36 grid slots, which should make for a fairly busy racing experience, even with the generous seven kilometer layout. And performance wise, things seem very much in line with what you would normally expect from a well-made circuit or any other well-made circuit for that matter, even with all of those leaves. <laughs> 